So welcome. Today we're going to be doing project number two in my um, Whimsical Trees class. So, and this is the card that we're going to be making. It's a simple Christmas card. And uh, we're going to do some generation stamping here. Something new maybe you haven't done before. So it's going to be fun. So let's just um, see what we have here in our kit. Everything is pre-cut for you, except for the things that you cut with your dies. Looks like we got some ribbon. We'll get to that in just a minute. Um, okay, so let's see what we have inside here. Lots of goodies. I don't think we need to get to those yet. Um, the only thing we might need from here are uh, this. These two circles we'll be stamping. And I'll just go ahead and tell you that um, we have these two circles come from our layering circle dies. Um, this is from the gold foil sheets. It's the smallest scallop circle die. And then these two, I give you two, you only need one, is from the smallest circle die. And then let's see what else. Um, so, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back in here for now in the envelope. Let's take our eight and a half by five and a half piece of thick basic white and I've scored it at four and a quarter. Fold on the, the score line. And this is a portrait card, which means it's in this direction. Then we have some, um, let's see, Mossy Meadow, two pieces. One is four and one eighths by five and three eighths. But we're not gonna do anything yet because we have ribbon and we don't wanna forget that ribbon. And then we have a piece of DSP that is from the Whimsy and Wonder DSP and it is four by five and a quarter. We can go ahead and put that on. And it's gonna go here on our Mossy Meadow. Alrighty, and then um, on the inside of our card, we do have a piece of four by five and a quarter mo mossy meadow. We can go ahead and put that on. I'm trying to get as much out of the way as we can so it's not on our desk to get ink on it. Um, so this is going to go on the front. We'll be stamping on, we have a three and three quarters by five piece of basic white. We're going to stamp the inside on that, the inside part. And then we have a piece of five and a half by four and a quarter basic white that we're going to die cut our trees with. So that's going to get die cut. This, I'm going to put this in my envelope for now so it doesn't get lost. Put it over there with my ribbon. And I'll put this with my ribbon so it doesn't get ink. Uh, this also. So die cut this, we'll put that aside. So these are the only things we're going to stamp on. So let's grab our Stamparatus. And here it is. Get a random stamp pad. Now we will be using Mossy Meadow ink today. Mossy, I think. Um, it's not an olive and it's not a forest green. It's just kind of in between. All right, so, and then we have this, our scratch paper, which we need. And we'll also need our four by six piece of window sheet plastic. You can use any kind of plastic if you have, haven't got the window sheet. Uh, a lot of times your photopolymer stamps come with plastic that you can use. So this is going to be joy. We're going to stamp joy on our little circle. So let's get our joy. And I can see I didn't put my <laughs> things away from last time, but I'm, I'm actually going to be using this one again. So I'm just going to leave it out. And our little joy stamp right here. And later on, we're going to be using this. It's this. It's this middle medium 
size tree. We'll be using that on the inside too. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that while I'm in here. And I'm going to put Joy down here in the bottom left corner and ink that up with Mossy Meadow. Um, okay, so we're going to ink that up. I hope I have that on there right. Um, it's kind of... <laughs> It's kind of that way, but I think I can still work with it. I'm going to put that on my piece. I put some stamp and seal on there. So joy in the center. And stamp that. And of course I want to stamp it again because I want it to be nice and rich and I'm also seeing that it's kind of blurry and I think that's because I think that's because my paper is kind of so I'm, I'll use this end that's not it's not curly yet yeah there I'll have to use this side it's not so curly okay where's my Joy, I'm going to do this again for you. That's why I gave you two. So if you have a little problem like I just had, and I will tell you that you don't want to um, push too hard on this little stamp because um, it you'll get the outline of the stamp. Um, so I could see that I was starting to get the outline so I'm just gently now it seems like all of my ink pads are low on ink so uh, yet another but I think I just feel this but apparently it needs more okay so there's my joy so I'm gonna set that aside to dry I'll twist it off and it's it, since I just put some seal on there it's a little sticky I even got some sticky on the back all right so now let's get a plastic and clean that off get my honest whites from Target wipe that off and what else what's next put that in the corner wipe the joy off I'm gonna dry it off too. Okay, and then next we're gonna the joy of Christmas. From our stamp set. So let me get my three and three quarter by five. And this is gonna go in the top right top left corner so may the joy of Christmas may the joy may the love of the season <laughs> maybe if I read it right it would be good huh all right I'm gonna stamp that make up our stamp Yeah, I thought I had um, inked this, but apparently not. It's already dry again. So maybe I didn't. Maybe I intended to, and I just didn't. But you know, if I'm going to want to do this, I'm going to have to ink it. So we're going we're gonna to take a little ink break here. <laughs> And I am going to ink my ink pad. But in the meantime, let me clean this off. I ink on them. Wipe off my wipe off my stamp. I got a little bit here too. It needs to come off. Okay, I'm gonna go get my ink because you're gonna want your your ink pad inky to do this next step, which is called generation stamping. 
Okay, so let's get our ink pad. Here's my ink refill. And I'm, it, I don't know that there's any special way. I just kind of go back and forth and then try to hit the areas that I missed before. And you can do near the sides too. And then I might go back and forth this way. Okay, let's see. You don't want it too inky. And then I like to take, I have an old bone folder that I use around so that it sinks in good. Whoops, got some on my finger now. That's easy to do. Okay, so I think that we are done with spreading that around. It looks a lot inkier now. So I'm going to clean off my nail here again because I got more on there. Now I've got a green nail. That looks really pretty. <laughs> a green fingernail. Okay. Now, the next step is we're going to put this down at the bottom along the line here and get our tree and we want to be sure that we can slide this underneath here so i guess i'm going to put my tree about right here it's about a half an inch from the bottom and an inch from the side so let's hope that this stays in place let me make my that's much better. I think that's this will work good then. So you can see I stamped the first stamp was here, then the second was here, and the third was there. It gets lighter each time. So the first stamp I'm going to want kind of here. I just want to make sure that I have room for my second stamp there and my, my second stamp here and my third stamp there. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to do my first generation stamping. I'm going to ink this up just really good. And I have lots of ink on, in my pad, so that's good. So this should work. All right, so there's my first generation it's the full the full and actually I think I might do this okay so that's the full now I'm not going to ink up anything I'm going to put my plastic back in place I'm going to move this over so that now remember I haven't inked up my stamp again I'm going to stamp and then I'm going to put this back I'm using that line down there at the bottom and I'm going to slide this under and my, my last one is going to be kind of here. So let me take this. No ink. This is just, this is my third generation right here. And I'm gonna let it soak in a little bit. And I'm gonna lift it up. And there we go. So we got one, two, and three. And that's how you get that. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so let's clean off our plastic so we don't get ink on anything. And then let's clean off our stamp. And I'm going to dry it off. I think that's our stamping. Yay! We're done with our stamping. Scratch paper back there. 
and you can see where on this first one where I messed up you can see that line there that's the edge of the stamp where I was pushing too hard you don't want to push too hard when you have those small stamps because um, you'll get that ghost <laughs> ghost edge there and we don't want that right okay so what else do we need to do just make sure you don't have any ink on your fingers so I'm gonna wipe off I have stains but obviously no live ink <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on the inside to keep it from getting in the way there's my say my stamp and seal here we go so pretty I love that generation stamping it is so pretty nice effect now let's take our joy well well I think we're too too we're too close to that let's do our die cutting next we need to do our leaves um, our, and that's all the die cutting we have are the trees and you can see that one tree is smaller well we've got the we've got the the stars too one tree is smaller than the other because so we're gonna have to trim that down so let's get our dies okay so we have um, this little tree here that's the tree that we're going to use oh and you'll need the stars too the little stars so I believe that this is five if I cut this in half I can actually fit this through my my mini and I love to use my mini <laughs> so and then out from your envelope you're going to want to get you have a piece of gold and uh, sheet in here a half an inch that's going to be for our stars and then our five and a half by four and a quarter that we just cut in half we're going to do our two trees so let me grab my little mini and i know that i'm going to have to pull this back or i'm going to have trouble so i'm just going to go ahead and pull it back out of the way all right so i'm going to do my one and then a two plate and then my cardstock and my die and I'm going to feed that through there there we go whoops so there's my one I'm going to pull that up, push those out. So there's my first die. Let's do our second tree. Second tree. Sorry if I'm not in camera, guys. Okay, so we have our two trees. And then lastly, we're going to do our gold foil sheet with the stars. I just love the mini. It's so great to work. It sits on your desk and it's not any trouble at all okay and then these little stars make sure they're coming off all right that's our die cutting put my 
sheet back and hopefully it's where it's supposed to be. There. Put another thing down to hold it. Okay. So let's go ahead and get everything, the rest of everything out of our envelope here. Our little gold pearls and everything. And ribbon and joy and trees and stars. I think you only need two stars, but that's fine. <laughs> All right, so I'm looking for my other tree. So my die, my 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 die cut was in still in my die. Duh. All right. So now I have my two trees. But as you can see, the one tree is smaller than the other tree. So what do we do? We take our scissors and we cut this bottom off here. You're just gonna kind of cut it so that it blends in with the one above. So we don't need this part, but what we do need is this little, um, the, I don't want to call it stem, <laughs> trunk, I guess, a tree trunk. So we have the tree trunk and we're gonna we're gonna actually glue it to this tree right here. But I want to make sure that when I glue it, it doesn't stick up. So I need to trim this a little bit so it doesn't stick up from behind. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to put this down. I'm going to put a little dot of glue, tiny, 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 tiny dot, maybe a couple. I don't want it too close to the, the trunk. And then I'm going to center it, hold it in place till it dries really good. Now that oozed, so for now, and then the rest I can probably get with an eraser later, a dry eraser after it's had a chance to dry really good. But it didn't ooze too bad. So that's how you get the smaller tree. So let's bring in this. What should we do first? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's let's put our ribbon on. So I have some gold shimmer ribbon that is uh, it's uh, three eighths inch. They do sell a quarter inch gold shimmer ribbon, uh, similar, but this is the three eighths inch. And I have a six inch piece and an eight inch piece. The six inch piece is going to go around the top, and it's going to be a half an inch from the top of your cardstock. So get my pencil and mark half inch and half inch. So the top of my ribbon is gonna be right there just below that mark. So I'm gonna get some stamp and seal and put some Make sure I get it where I need it. So you can find the top by dropping it and then the curve. This is the front of the ribbon, that's the back of the ribbon. Okay, so I'm gonna even this out on the sides. Find my mark and push it into that glue. And there you have your ribbon. So now we can put this on the front of our card because we have the ribbon on. You definitely don't want to put it on the front of your card until your ribbon is on. You're wrapped around. Okay. 
and now I'll, that having done that now I can I'll know I need to leave room for my little um, star at the top and so I want this close to the edge though but not right at the edge so maybe maybe just almost on the edge but not okay and I think that's good so I'm going to put my glue on the back at the tip here and then along these places here and then there's plenty of room on this side for glue and I'll show you what I've done here in just a minute so you're not wondering what did she do So I put a, a dot of glue, like one, two, three, four, five, six there, and a bunch of dots of glue here. And I put a tiny tot, dot at the very top. So I'm gonna put this here where I've got room for my star, and this is gonna be like right on the edge. So there we go. Gonna hold it down till it can adhere. Good. Gonna do the same with this one. Gonna put it right next to it but maybe just cross a little bit right there. So Hold it down. Now for some reason it seems like I don't have as much room down here at the bottom. As I did in that one. So you're going to see your trees are going to be like sitting on this gold. Here and I'll tell you. It would be wise to do this with gold, with glue, but you do not want to get glue on this. So we're going to use glue dots to put this on because this gold foil and glue, if you get glue on it, even just the slightest, it, it mars it. It looks very dull and not very attractive. So there's that one. and. Make sure you get it level. Okay. And then we have a piece of, oh, this, this was four by three eighths, just so you know. Three eighths inches by four inch by four. And it's gonna go here. And this one, I think I might use glue. I might. Uh, try just be very careful use a tiny bit you don't want it to run see tiny bit and you don't have a lot of wiggle room you gotta get it in place the first time because like I said you don't want to get glue on that gold foil all right so um, our joy We're going to, um, that's still got some sticky from when I stamped it. We're going to put this over our gold scallop circle. You can see just a little bit of the gold, just enough. And I think I will put that on with glue just because I can switch it around if I need to. But you know, I really probably should do, before I put that on, I should do my bow and 
I don't know, when I make your kits, I might make your bows for you. Doing two loops, I'm not going to cross this one over that one. And I'm going to push that through here. And I know a lot of you struggle with these, so if I think about it, I will go ahead and do the bows for you and put them in the kit already made. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't have a big enough, I didn't have a big enough loop to get that through there. It's easier when I'm not trying to show you how to do it. Okay, there's my bow. This side's a little big. We don't want it too big. And then here, I'm gonna cut this. <sighs> okay, so that's gonna go there. And you'll see why I, I wanted to do the bow. So we got two um, glue dots right here on behind this knot. And we're just going to set that there. I actually tried tying the bow to this, but it just didn't come out right. Glue them on there. And that way you know it's going to be right. And then we have our joy. Let me go right underneath that ribbon. And then the last thing we have to do, we have a couple things. We gotta to do our stars. And I uh, I think I meant to make those, um, to do those with adhesive sheets, but I, I didn't, so. We're just going to put a tiny drop of glue here at the top of each tree. I'm trying to get that to flip over so I can pick it up. Come on. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Now we've got our stars. <clears throat> now we just need to do this gold and these three gold, and these are the gold pearls, um, <clears throat> metallic pearls, metallic pearls. They come in gold and silver in the package. And they're really nice to work with. You get lots of them. So we're gonna put one up here by our joy, and then three of them down here. just in a line kind of there we go ta-da our project is done I'll do a little <clears throat> little cleanup here all righty there we go, guys. Project number two in our whimsical trees. <laughs> what are we doing? Whimsical trees class kit. So I'll see everyone in my next video for project number three. Bye.